Hi, Steve and Judy, it's Jamie. And Oscar, we're here at 102567 Lee Drive. And we're gonna take a quick video overview of the home for you. We've already walked through and driven the neighborhood. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. A mm. lot of upgrades, so we'll point those out too. Um, but we'll give you an overview and we can go from there. Okay. Here we are pulling into the main entrance of Fairwinds, the community that the home is located within. And we did take a loop around the community. It's one large circle with homes on both sides and videoed that for you so you could get a good idea of what the streetscape looked like, what the landscaping looked like, all of the other homes that are here within the community. We did talk briefly about some amenities that you were potentially interested in in the communities. And please note, there are no amenities here within Fairwinds. You do have an HOA payment. It equates to $219 per month and that does cover the irrigation, so the watering of your yard. And quickly, this house here on the left is the house in question, and we will circle back and look at that more closely, but we will continue around the circle for now so you can get a good idea. Um, back to what I was saying, it's $219 per month, and that covers your lawn and landscape trimming, uh, your lawn and landscape fertilization, pest control for the outside of your yard as well, and like I said, the watering of your yard. So those things are included in that HOA. Other than that, there are no additional amenities, but enjoy this loop and we'll stop at the house here shortly. Here we are at 10256 Avonlea Drive and just doing a little pan around of the neighbors right next door and what's directly across the street so that you have a better understanding. As we enter in the front door, immediately you're greeted by this large open floor plan here. The great room with very tall ceilings. They're 11 foot tall ceilings with a tray ceiling. All of it has crown molding throughout as well. So really warm, welcoming entrance into the home. And to the right when we come through, there is this den area.
pretty big, pretty sizable space that could be used for an office, a little TV room. Depending on how you needed this space, you could switch out the French doors from glass to a full closure if you wanted to add an additional sleeping space when guests come. To the left of the main front entrance would be your dining area. Again, crown molding throughout, tray ceilings. Over to the right side of the home is where the master bedroom and suite are located. So when you come in, the bedroom itself is to the left, the bathroom would be to the right. There are two separate his and hers closets, which we'll take a peek at here shortly. And a very spacious master bedroom. Plenty of windows for natural light. Again, it has the tray ceiling with the crown molding. There also is a single French door that leads out to the lanai. It is covered from the outside, which I'll show you here in a little bit, but does have access to the lanai depending on how you would decorate this space. And as we head toward the bathroom, again, there's two closets, one on each side. So this would be the larger closet. All of the closets throughout the home have the wood shelving. So that's a really nice feature instead of the wire shelving that many of the older homes show. And then the closet across the hall. And as we enter into the bathroom, to the left is the water closet, and they've got some built-in cabinets here as well for some additional storage, which is wonderful. The bathroom is completely renovated and updated. Brand new flooring, brand new tubs, updated vanities. Again, those tall 11 foot ceilings. So it makes it feel very spacious. A walk-in valet style shower here. And then if we head back out into the main portion of the home, you can kind of see the kitchen through the right, and then that wall of sliding glass doors. Um, Oscar here is gonna go open it for us a little ways. All four of these panels do ultimately open up and pocket behind the wall on the right-hand side. So the space does really open up to the outside of the lanai here. Looks like the doors need to be adjusted slightly, but they do open up and really bring the outside of the home into the inside. Behind there, that red door is what would lead back into the master bedroom if you were to have access. And this outside space is fantastic. It is oversized. It's got this beautiful built-in over here. Um, there is space on both sides of the pool for relaxing and enjoyment. You've got the pool and the spa. And just to kind of give you an idea of how large this space is, I'm gonna walk to this side and then kind of pan back over the whole space It looks as though the pool and spa have been recently updated. All of the finishing within the pool is uh, seemingly new. And then a beautiful lake view as well. Definitely feels like a little slice of paradise out here. On the opposite side of the lanai, they also have this dining area. Like I said, just a very expansive outside lanai. It's more than 1,400 square feet out on this screened space. And 
and then they have this little bar area here again that door would lead into the master bedroom if you did want to have access and depending again how you would decorate this area As you come back into the living room, another view at those tall ceilings, and then into the kitchen area we go. You've got a little bit of a nook here that you could do a table and chairs. And then this beautiful updated kitchen, gorgeous white cabinetry, beautiful countertops. They've got the LED lighting underneath the cabinets, which is another beautiful feature. And then this pantry to the right is really sizable, a lot of room for storage space. And then to the left, this would be like a den area as well. Um, it's a really interesting space. You've got these two pocket sliders right here that could come together and shut this room off if you wanted to make like a sofa sleeper in there or an additional um, workspace with some privacy. And then another single door that would lead over toward another guest bedroom and bathroom. Really sizable area, very centrally located within the home. Got a single French door here that leads back out to the lanai space for any of your guests that are staying on this side of the home. And a guest bathroom that is also updated with beautiful tile, gorgeous vanities and countertops, and that wood look tile floor, and then into one of the guest bedrooms. Pretty sizable space in here. Definitely good for guests that come to visit, kids, grandkids. and then these guests would have that door access right out to the lanai. We go through this den, it leads back up to this hallway. There's another guest bed bathroom here on the right. Again, updated cabinetry and countertops, upgraded light fixtures, all ceilings. This bathroom is probably the least updated but still beautiful. And then an additional guest bedroom. Still pretty spacious. So in total, this is showing three bedrooms plus the front office or den, and then that secondary den. Both of those could be used if you had you know, more guests that needed space. And then this leads back into the kitchen again, and that dining room area front entrance. And then to the right is laundry really sizable laundry room, some beautiful built-ins, uh, storage closet as well. They also have a utility sink, which is a nice plus. And then access to the three car garage. So you can see they've treated this somewhat as a storage space but very large, very sizable, whether it's for bikes or items for a beach picnic, quite a bit of space. They've got an access door that leads outside 